Kerry Livermore at the 2005, and then uh, I founded on my own think tank. Um, I made my own business from the scratch. So um, uh, the question is, uh, why I quitted my job as a career diplomat? Because at that point, I mean, the 2005, I felt something significant would happen in the very near future in the global community, not only in Japan, but also in the foreign community. And uh, um, I feel uh, I feel uh, not the knowledge side, knowledge economy or knowledge as such, but something like trust would have much more significant meaning in the business, well, not only in the business but also in the society as a whole. So I did that my uh, think tank uh, in a way that uh, I will, uh, I will, we have been uh, expanding uh, the membership of our customers uh, who are buying our future scenarios of our uh, institute uh, makes uh, future scenarios, future scenarios for the uh, particularly uh, small base size enterprises uh, so that they can survive in the, uh, uh, in the, in the current turbulence of the global market. But anyway, um, we are now living in the era uh, when uh, the, so, the, the irregularity of the solar activities dominates. Uh, how they are, uh, the sun has no transport anymore. And scientific viewing, this causes uh, the dramatic change of our climate, particularly in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, not the climate, uh, global warming, but global cooling is very dominant, uh, particularly in Russia, for example, in Siberia, or in Japan. Look at in Tokyo, we had a very heavy snow in the last winter, for example. But anyway, uh, in, uh, in this era of the global cooling, particularly in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, the human immune system are being heavily damaged. And this leads us to the total depletion of the global economy. This is exactly why we are now trying to expand the quantitative easing one by one, not only in the United States, but also in Europe, for example, or also in China and Japan. To combat the total depletion, we need to uh, urgently inflate the global economy. And uh, for that, we are now making use of digitization. But the massive digitization now leads us to create artificial intelligence. And in terms of uh, getting knowledge uh, much more precisely, uh, artificial intelligence is much better than our human brain. And what is left for the human brain, or human human cities? That is building trust. Without building trust, we, don't, we cannot do any business. And uh, so I think uh, this trend, moving from the marriage economy to the trust economy, is inevitable and uh, impossible because of this irreversible trend of the climate and the universe as a whole. So this is not the case of only for the Japan, but also, for example, for Russia and for the, the, the global community. So the trust is uh, compassion to each other. And uh, so we are now living, from my viewpoint, we are now living in the era uh, from Gesellschaft to Gemeinschaft. Gesellschaft means a uh, society just based on the uh, relational contract. But to the Gemeinschaft, the society based on compassion. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.
Uh, my name is Takeo Harada. I came from uh, Tokyo, Japan. And I was actually carried a diploma until 2005. And then I founded uh, my own think tank uh, called Institute for International Strategy and Information Analysis. And my institute dedicates itself uh, mainly to make a future, future strategic and risk scenario for corporate clients. Uh, based on qualitative and quantitative analysis. Uh, I'm not a data scientist, but uh, thanks to the development of the uh, Japanese digitalization, uh, I could build up my own think tank, uh, and I do my, I do make my new business uh, by making um, strategic, strategic and risk scenarios for corporate clients. And uh, now I, uh, my institute is now uh, opening up uh, a new branch in Miyazaki. Miyazaki is uh, uh, one of the uh, famous but uh, rather small city in a, a rural or rural district in the Kyushu uh, region in the West Japan. And uh, based on the, my own experience, I would like to uh, pick up some points uh, we can discuss together here uh, with you. Uh, one of them is, uh, well, uh, digitalization is uh, surely uh, two sides. Uh, one of them is light side and another one is shadow side. And uh, uh, we, are, we tend to focus on the light side for the digitalization of the digital economy. Of course, for example, in Miyazaki, uh, oh, we have um, uh, plenty of uh, branches of very famous Japanese digital companies because uh, uh, labor costs uh, in such a rural districts are very low compared with uh, urban areas such as Tokyo or Osaka, uh, mega cities in Japan. So, uh, in order to avoid uh, uh, riding uh, labor costs, uh, Japanese uh, companies, uh, not only big companies, but also small and middle sized and enterprises, are now um, trying to open up uh, their remote offices in rural districts. That, uh, of course, affects very positively to the uh, local economies uh, all over Japan. But on the, on the another side, I mean the shadow side of the digital economy, the second point I, should, I would like to pick up here is uh, a new, uh, how can I say, it? a new digital divide is emerging in the Japanese society. Uh, for example, uh, the, the population over 60 or 70 uh, year old, years old cannot understand what the blockchain is or how can we uh, make use of the uh, cryptocurrency even though the blockchain is now, or Bitcoin is now, uh, now blooming all over the world. So uh, the government, uh, uh, central or local uh, governments, are now uh, urged to combat this issue. I mean, the new type of digital divide, divide in the societies. And then particularly uh, in Japan, because we Japanese are now facing uh, accelerated uh, aging societies, which will uh, also uh, brought about in other countries such as Russia or uh, other Western countries. And the sad point could be um, digital economy accelerates totally our daily life, the velocity of our daily life is uh, accelerating, and that could uh, sometimes affect also negatively uh, our, not only our daily life, but also our, our own mental health, for example. Um, in, the, uh, in the offices of the Japanese companies, uh, there are plenty of the employees which uh, who are now suffering from mental health uh, diseases due to the how can I say, uh, over accelerated uh, digitalized uh, economy, uh, which we, uh, we have experienced since 1990s. So there are three uh, phenomena uh, in the uh, digital economy we have in Japan. One of them is, as I said, right side, uh, development of local economy thanks to the uh, accelerated digitalization. 
So the second point and the third point could be. So, so, sorry, I'm just taking, taking okay. control of the time and there's something. Okay, yeah, that's it.